Charlie. I don't want to interrupt, but I have some good news. You two are taking a trip. Me too? You and Algernon. I just got word from the International Psychiatric Convention in Chicago. They're accepting my paper, Charlie. Now, I know it's a little early, but Charlie, your progress is so remarkable that I just can't hold back. I, I, I need to show you off. What are you going to do, run me through a maze? No, Charlie. I'm serious. How are you going to show me off? People are going to ask you questions. Like Trivial Pursuit? No, of course not. I got it. Why don't I read him Sappho here in the original Greek or, or Chinese? You want me to learn to speak Chinese? What are you getting upset about? Well, these are important scientists. I want to make a good impression. Charlie, I don't know what you How you're about giving me words to spell like Frankenstein? No, you're not being fair, Charlie. No, you're not being fair. You're treating me like a mouse in a maze. Why don't you calm down? Because I have a choice here. No, you don't, Charlie. You do not have a choice. Now, I made you what you are, so if you want to go ahead and compare me to Frankenstein, that's your opinion. But I believe that your life now is immeasurably better than before. So you owe me this. No. You have an ethical responsibility. No, I don't. The old Charlie agreed to this, not me. Come on, Charlie, you're splitting hairs you here. You want to talk ethics? This is not some Kantian categorical imperative. Whoa, 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 what is that? What, is what that would David Hume say about Who? this? David Hume, he sent Immanuel Kant on his road. Charlie, I'm talking about Chicago here. What are you talking about? What are you about? saying? You haven't read Hume? Charlie, I Have you or haven't you? Probably read him in college. Probably? He's one of the most brilliant minds of 18th century thought, and you say probably? I thought you were an educated man. I am an educated man. Why don't you How come? can you call yourself an educated man and say you haven't read Hume? Have you read Hegel? I don't care Hegel. about Hume or Hegel or anybody. I'm talking about changing the face of medicine, winning Nobel Prizes, and you bring in some esoteric 18th century philosopher. I'm smarter than you, aren't I? Say it! Yes. Yes, Charlie. You are smarter than me. You've learned more in four months than I've learned in my entire life. You've made a freak of me at the other end of the scale, haven't you? Well, I got news for you, Dr. Strauss. I'm not your science fair project. I'm not your ticket to Stockholm, and I'm sure as hell not your paper in Chicago. Charlie. Hey, Tony, Mr. Donald wants to see you. Yeah, come on inside. Make sure you get it. What's this? <clears throat> it's a uh, petition signed by all the workers complaining about your attitude. They uh, have asked me to let you go, Charlie. Why? Well, you've changed. You're angry. You make them feel dumb sometimes. They made me feel dumb. Well, you were dumb. At least they thought you were. But now, you, know, you talk down to them? You have this attitude? I don't know what happened, but the Charlie you used to be, the Charlie everyone here liked, he ain't around anymore. Mr. Donner, I, I can be more friendly. Too late. Half the guys who work here have been in complaining. They're afraid of you. Now, Charlie, I gotta look out for everybody here. You promised me you'd never fire me. I promised another Charlie, not you. Where will, where will I go? Well, anywhere you want. You won't have trouble getting a job, but you, you don't need to work here. Yes, I do. This is my home. No, Charlie. Not anymore. Donner fired me. Oh, Charlie, I'm sorry. They asked him to. All the people that I thought were my friends. Why? They hate me now. I made them hate me. Just like I did Dr. Strauss today. I made him feel like an idiot. I'm so angry and I don't know why. I'm sorry. Your heart's got to catch up to your head. If you can learn to see people with your head and your heart, you'll be surprised at what you find. But how do I do that? What do you know about Dr. Strauss? Well, 
Why? Do you know his father pressed him so hard to succeed he had a nervous breakdown when he was an undergraduate? And if he presents his paper in Chicago and it's well received, there's some part of him that'll feel like at last he made his father proud. So you're saying I should go to Chicago? Mm, that's not what I'm saying, Charlie. Just try to look before you judge, whichever way you go. What about you? How, how do I learn to see you with my heart and my head? <laughs> what do you want to know? I, um, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> I wanted to be a, a dancer, but I wasn't good enough. And then I wanted to be a writer, but I wasn't good enough. And then I, I found this, and now I think I'm good enough. <laughs> Boyfriend? A boyfriend? I've come close, but I've never really gotten to the point where I let myself fall in love. But you know, my father was right, Charlie. I am a chicken. I was afraid to be a dancer or a writer. I'm mean, just like I'm afraid to commit to certain people. I, mean, I always do. Hmm. No, Charlie. No, Charlie. No, that, this can't happen, no. Why? It, it just isn't right. I mean, I, um, there are plenty of women out there waiting for someone like you, but I'm just not one of them. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to go.